G'day everyone, Aussie Shooter here. Now, I recently watched a really great movie called Captain Phillips. If you haven't seen it, it's the movie starring Tom Hanks, where he's a captain of a uh, freight liner, and uh, he gets hijacked by Somali pirates. Now, this was a really great movie, and uh, I want to highlight some of the things about this movie that just made it so frustrating to watch. Uh, and just, and it's a self-defense issue. And basically, I couldn't believe that this multi-million dollar ship with millions of dollars worth of cargo had absolutely no defenses on the ship. And I just, I just can't believe it. I just think to myself, here they are, this crew, they are watching these Somali pirates through the binoculars, getting closer and closer and closer, and they simply cannot do anything about it. And I just couldn't believe it. I'm shaking my head and I'm thinking, oh my God, does this actually go on in real life? And uh, this is a cargo ship that is basically traveling on, on a very, very dangerous uh, path, uh, right next to dangerous countries uh, who have terrorists in them. And, uh, the, you know, things like these hijackings uh, and, and pirates are very, very common. And they have absolutely nothing on board that can help them out. And I just find that absolutely extraordinary. I mean, here you have a situation where they, where they were um, basically boarded by the pirates. And then, you, and then the film went on. To, to this massive military operation that would have cost tens of millions of dollars to the taxpayer and put so many people's lives in danger. And the entire thing uh, could have been quite easily avoided if they just had a couple of competent um, security people on board with a couple of 50 cal sniper rifles on top of the ship nailing these guys as they're, as they're getting closer. I mean, give me a break. I can't believe that these ships go out and, and, and in these very dangerous waters with absolutely no defense. I just couldn't believe it. I found the entire movie so frustrating. And I think to myself, would this uh, you know, very, very wealthy uh, ship lining uh, company uh, not be able to at least get some qualified security people on board, one or two at least as part of the crew members, with some uh, 50 cal sniper rifles? so they can combat this threat pretty much instantly and i'm sure these somali pirates as soon as they saw as soon as they saw fire coming back at them and uh smashing their little boat i'm pretty sure they would have turned right around and hightailed it out of there they wouldn't have been able to get anywhere near the boat because it would have saved the whole situation and i just find it absolutely extraordinary that this is allowed to happen and you know it's a question of self-defense i mean here you have uh, you know, massive ship, millions of dollars of cargo, absolutely not a single gun on board, absolutely nothing, nothing that they can defend themselves with along a dangerous coastline. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm thinking, what on earth are, are the world's governments thinking? What are they thinking? And the Coast Guard is, and you know, the military is miles away. I mean, they're not within a couple of hours so they can, you know, pretty much help them out. They're miles away. And I just find that absolutely extraordinary. I'll, please, uh, you know, write to me and let me know if you find that just a completely ridiculous situation. Anyway, I'm Aussie, Aussie Shooter and uh, I'll catch you later. <laughs>